Hey YouTube, it's Ergo, and today is an important day. Today is a day that Social Blade goes from the cloud and comes down to Earth. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, okay, so Social Blade, if you first aren't aware, Social Blade, my company, um, it's something that I started as a hobby many years ago now, and it turned into, uh, actually about 10 years ago, last week, it turned into an official company. And we've sort of just grown over the years. And for the last, oh my gosh, I don't even know, maybe five or so years, we've been hosting in the cloud. <laughs> and today we are switching to self-hosted. And we're doing that for a number of different reasons. Um, but it's really an exciting uh, time and I wanted to bring you along the way and I'll sort of give you some more info as we go. Step one, pick up Tim. So we're gonna go pick him up now. Let's go. So we got a Tim, wave hi Tim. <laughs> and right here, we're, we're just in <laughs> my basement right now. And right here, these are the servers that we are going to be putting into the data center. We sort of staged everything here. So what you're looking at is what will be running Social Blade in the very near future. Uh, to sort of give you a little rundown of what you're looking at, uh, when you go to socialblade.com, you'll basically hit one of these three over here. Uh, it'll serve up the web page and decide where to go. Tim's unplugging stuff and it's making the fans get louder. Thanks, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we got to disassemble because we're bringing everything over. But anyway, yeah, you'll hit one of these three here and then it'll pull any of the data that it needs from this all the way up here, the database. These are going to be in a different place inside the rack itself, but um, yeah, those are the main servers. This guy here is actually temporary at the moment because the router that we wanted was out of stock. So basically all the internet connections will be coming in the back of this. Um, well, actually, yeah, one internet connection. Uh, we're using this for it at the moment. Is this where the main one's gonna come in later, Tim? Yes. So yeah, it'll be it'll still- be plugged in. It'll be still plugged in, yeah, over here. And then all of these other connections basically go to the various other servers. And we have a switch here at the moment too. Both of these are getting replaced with um, like actual like server grade hardware uh, in the future, but that's what we have at the moment. So just to show you, like if you've never seen <laughs> what you actually connect to when you type in a website, you usually get to something that looks like this. So it's uh it's interesting. Okay, so I just moved away from the loud area to talk to you guys for a minute and. Basically, uh, you might want to know now why we're moving away from all of this. Well, when you host in the cloud, like Google Cloud or Amazon uh, or any number of other places, it has a lot of benefits. Like, don't get me wrong on there. Um, one of the main benefits is if you don't know what your traffic load is going to be, um, or if you have like a very unstable traffic load, meaning like you get, you know, a base amount of traffic and then a lot of times you have like big events where there's like uh, huge amounts. Um, for example, like a store that has Black Friday sales, you know, on Black Friday there might be a ton more traffic. Uh, the cloud, when you host it like Google, you, know, you don't have to have all the servers ready. Um, it's able to just like instantly spawn up a whole bunch of more servers there. And we definitely did utilize that a bit, you know, when, when we hosted on Google Cloud, but our typical traffic load is more within a, a range that is stable. Um, so one of the, the huge benefits of having your own servers versus Google's is you actually own these and you don't have to rent them from Google. And basically since we started hosting at Google, our bill has just like doubled and doubled and doubled. And we're actually uh, using, um, since uh, we don't have YouTube real-time stats anymore so much, uh, there's a lot less load on the site because that was one of the heavy traffic areas that had to do lots and lots of refreshes and everything. Um, so we actually have a bit less traffic than we did when we were on Google originally, but our bill is just like grown astronomically. So basically the long and the short of it is by purchasing ahead of time all of the servers that we have right now that I just showed you, uh, and then going to a data center and renting, uh, we're going to be renting an internet connection and space to host in there in this professional data center, which is very similar to where like the Google servers are, uh, just it's, you know, a company that allows um, anyone to rent space in there uh, instead of it just being, you know, Google only data center. Um, yeah, so anyway, buying the servers and um, renting space over there in an internet connection 
in about nine months, I believe is what I did the math out to be. We've already made back uh, like our investment on purchasing all the servers and it is significantly cheaper than uh, renting with Google after that. Now, there's a couple of downs, I don't know, downsides. It's uh, when you have your own equipment versus when you have, um, you know, just renting from the cloud, you need to know what you're doing to set up your own equipment. And fortunately, even before um, this right now, what we're doing, I actually have had a server in a data center, a smaller one, uh, all the way back since I think it was around like 2004, so a very long time. So definitely used to this. The original Social Blade actually started uh, on a server, a single server, not like you know the whole um, collection we have in there. Uh, but been hosting like this for a long time before we switched to uh, cloud in the first place. So we had originally the original Social Blade when it started in uh, was it 2008 or nine. Uh, was in a data center in the Virginia area, which is actually very close, um, like I think a building across the road from where Amazon's uh, very first data center um, for AWS is. Uh, then we went, uh, like that wasn't enough. And I actually remember making a YouTube video um, where we were talking about moving to a, a much faster server. I did some videos on that, I don't know, around like 2012-ish. Uh, and when we moved to that, that was at a data center in Philadelphia. And then when we outgrew that server, that's when we went to Google. And now we, we didn't really outgrow Google. It was more, we think we can get better performing hardware for way cheaper by doing our own. And sort of the plan is, uh, you know, like as I said, in nine months, we basically made back our money anyway. And then after that, we can just keep purchasing more hardware and it will just like continuously be cheaper than Google and we'll eventually be able to have way more hardware than we ever need anyway uh, and just be a much better thing. So the other part, again, I talked about, um, you know, why it might be something you don't want to do. There is a lot more skill uh, with having uh, a whole bunch of servers like this. And it's something that Tim's actually been learning a lot about. Uh, so we got the skills in-house uh, to get all this running. It's going to be way cheaper, way faster, too, actually, because it's uh, when you are in the cloud, you're sharing hardware with however many other people. With this, no one else is going to be using our servers. It's just going to be for our website. So we know we're going to have the best performing hardware. But then we also have to like keep an eye on if there's any sort of hardware failures, like if a hard drive goes bad or even worse, if like a CPU goes bad. Like there can, the, the risk is there can be definite like real downtime, but we're trying to mitigate that as much as we can with multiple of like the web servers themselves. Uh, eventually we plan on getting a, um, like a second database server to have, you know, complete fail over with that as well and just keep on building out this redundancy here. So it's definitely a very exciting time period. Um, we're also sort of in the process, uh, it's been going for a while, but we're getting very close to the end of redoing the entire website also. Um, so the existing website is still going to run on Google for a little bit longer, but we're hoping within the next uh, couple of months we'll be able to migrate over to this hardware completely and have a brand new website as well that is way faster, way more mobile friendly, um, and just better in most ways. It's not, um, one thing I didn't want to sacrifice was like losing any of the stuff that we can do on the current one. Um, so it's going to do everything the current one can do and then a lot more. So there's a lot going on. Um, been really busy behind the scenes and yeah, excited to take you along. So we got our service here. We're at the data center. This is our rack right here. We're just waiting because they don't have the power hooked up yet. They got to get that and uh, we have to figure out if we're on the top or the bottom here, but this is the data center here. All right, so we got our power and the first step is we're putting the rails in. So basically all the servers are mounted uh, by just sliding them in on these rails. So we got to get all of that in and then we'll slide the servers in. So Tim, what are you using over here? My Nestectum screwdriver. <laughs> Not sponsored. Nope. So we have the servers racked. We still have to hook up all the power cables and everything and the networking, but we have them in here now. Look at that. Looks amazing. 
Good work, Tim. I'm breaking my finger. Doing <laughs> so we have everything plugged in that we can right now. The we have a couple of issues. One is we don't have a cable that will reach all the way from down here, all the way up here yet. So we're waiting on that. Um, and then we actually don't have our internet information either yet. So you did a good job, Tim. Put everything together. You completely forgot about our other internet though. We also don't have a fiber cable to go all the way up there either. That is true. We're just still waiting information for that. Too. Yep. So we, we definitely have uh, not everything connected yet, but what we have here looks good. Show you around on the other side. Here we are. So, yeah, that's what we got so far. We'll definitely have to come back in a couple of days to finish off, but this is going to be the new home of Social Blade. All right, so we're back at the data center. We don't have everything hooked up yet, but we got our main internet connected in and Tim is going to have the honors of turning on the router for the first time. All right, Tim, boot us up. Ooh. All right, you probably can't really hear much of a difference, but all those flashy lights are there. Uh, we have to set up the router first before we turn on all of the other servers, but the internet connection is live. All right, we are now powering on all of the others. Padoop, padoop, padoop. We already turned this one on from the other side. Shows the power usage going up over here. So here it is, Social Blade. All the servers are turned on. So we never could figure out how to get all the lights on for these ones for some reason, uh, but they are on. Oh, looks like, I don't know if you guys could hear the difference, but the database, this top one here, was turning on and the fans were all going, but it looks like it is fully booted now and it, uh, the fans slowed down. All right, for those that are techie, Tim wanted me to show off the specs of the database server also. Uh, yeah, you can see the specs there as well as 24 gigs of storage on the RAID which should be enough for us to start. I have a I feeling... I just said gigs, not Oh, terabytes. Yeah. If I said gigs, terabytes. 24 terabytes. Of NVMe PCI 4. Very, very, very fast storage. Um, I have a feeling that we're going to need to upgrade that in the future, oh, yeah. but this should be enough uh, to like convert over our current system into here. Yeah, so. yeah those are the specs. Go on. I was going to say, that's also like not... All the storage is like in a RAID, so that's redundant. Today. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. There's more drives. That's all usable. Right, yep. So that's our hardware as it exists at the moment here. So now we just gotta finish building the new website, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this is really cool. Um, the only thing left really here is uh, we don't know if this is the right port to use at the moment, so we're not connecting it. We're just waiting for our main internet connection yeah. to come well, we through. We know the right port will be there. We don't know where that fiber cable leads to. If it right. goes to the correct thing. Right. So we're going to have a fiber cable, which actually, uh, this cable over here, is going to be connected there down into the router. Uh, and that will be our main internet connection. Yep. The one we're using right now will definitely work for now. It's our backup internet. Uh, yeah. So we'll be able to connect to it from at home so we don't have to do all the work inside this data center. But, but yeah. if something goes down, it still works. Right. So with that, I'm gonna end this vlog for now. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the future of Social Blade as uh, someone's photobombing me back there. <laughs> uh, but yeah. This is our new servers. I'm really excited to begin this new chapter of declouding. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting, liking, and subscribing. And make sure to use socialblade.com. Bye.